Hey everybody, welcome back to this old trike. Um, I think I'm just going to do a, a random video where I catch you up on a couple things that have been going on and talk about what's coming down the road. So I don't have anything juicy prepared that I've been working on. I'm going to show you here. Uh, we finished up Peter, but I'll take you back to while that was in process before I show you the full thing. But Got a couple uh, updates I want to give you. I want to talk about Honda Hoarder Apparel. A lot of you guys ask about that, so stay tuned to find out how you can get some. Um, I want to say a couple thank yous to some people uh, that have sent me some things and whatever else I come up with. I don't know. I'm going to try to keep it short, no more than an hour and 15, hour and 20, and that's about it. So without further ado... This is what Peter, the 83 200E, looked like earlier in the week. Well, welcome back. We've been doing some work. It is Friday, and uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I've been poking around on Peter here, putting him back together. I spent a solid morning just kind of cleaning up the frame, making it a little bit nicer. I didn't go over the top, but he was clean enough to deserve that. I've got that left rear fender hanging out there, put the rack on. I had a cable or two off it, so brakes were disconnected from where I took the rear out. Muffler was off it, so I am ready to put the fender back on this side and the trunk in. But there's been some developments, shall I tell you? Now this might be confusing, so here's fair warning. As you recall, we took this fender off that was here, and it's now there because that fender, which sits over there, had a chunk missing right there. You see it right in the middle? Right there, yep, you got it. So I was gonna repair that, put it back on Peter, and it was not ideal. But I was gonna, that's what I was gonna do. And so I'm cleaning and everything, and when was it? I guess it was Wednesday, I see posted on the, the Facebook, a new old stock, 200E, 200ES, 200M, right side rear fender at a, a fairly decent price. It's a lot, but it's, it's new old stock. So, talked to the guy, and he, he and I worked out a deal, and I'm going to be purchasing the new old stock rear fender. It just so happens I have a new old stock front fender right there. Do I need a new old stock front fender? Not really. That's a really nice fender. But what happens now is I need a new old stock left side rear fender. And then that will mean I'll start chasing down a tank to make a tank nice and I'll down the road, powder coat these frames, and really turn this into something. Why not? It's the only one in North America, and I, I haven't been proven wrong yet. What's this? Look at this. What is this? Gas. That is gas. Okay. Learning things. Paul control yourself. So that being said, what am I going to do? Am I going to take this fender off that machine and put it on this machine? I don't think so. What I have in the other room on my 200M is a fender, an 85 200M. I've got a fender that's nicer than that, crack free, but not as nice as that. So that will become a fender for my 200M because they're all interchangeable. So I'm going to go harvest the fender off that 200M to put it on this 200E 
and get this back together. Did you follow all that? So, that being said, I've got some work to do. And that is your update. So that was Friday. And today is Sunday. And he is back together. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Peter. The 83200D. This is the fender off my 85200M. These are interchangeable. You'll see a sticker missing there. I've contacted Mr. Bruce at Blue Line Decals, Blue Line Graphics, www.bluelinedecals.com. Get all your stickers there. The best, the best reproductions. So this is a a decent machine. You can see uh, some of the snow has melted off. I had it out for a little ride. My buddy Jeff is interested in this, so I bounced it off him. He has first dibs. But I cleaned it up, and it came together nice. It's not perfect, but it's a, a very, very, very respectable machine. And it looks great. Oh, as I hit the chair behind me. with uh, Looks great with the 84 200E. Some people... So this has been a little controversial. I've made some claims on, on the interwebs about the 84 200E being the only one in the U.S. And you guys actually watched my video, so I haven't got to point out to you what's what. You know that the recoil on a 83 is different, and you know that the the front or the rear fender, the front edge of the rear fender swoops down like that on an 83, where the 84, you know, is cut away to go around the, the sub-transmission that's not there. Because this is a chain drive 200E, not ES, so this is a smaller transmission, sub-transmission. And the recoil is 84 style. You know those things. There's other differences, but we'll save that for another video. One of the things I have not installed yet, because I've got to refinish them... These are two battery hold downs that uh, that were just sent to me last week. One of them, and now I've got them mixed up, so I don't know which came from which, but one of them came from my buddy Josh Nason out in New Hampshire. Throw that away. They're, they're worthless. Get out of here. Um, Josh Nason's pr Nason from New Hampshire sent me one, and Josh Nason and I... First interacted with each other probably back in 2017, I think. We we exchanged some some parts, and I think he bought some rims for a TRX, TRX 125 from me a long time ago. And the other one came from uh, Troy St. Vincent. So thank you both for those, Troy and Josh. I appreciate it. I will put those to good use. My main... Main man Kane Beeping, who comments on all my videos, he sent me two gaskets. Now, these are new old stock. They don't make these anymore. Obviously, you can tell that is a Honda part, and so is this one. Uh, for the sub-transmission. So if ever I have an issue, if that starts to weep a little oil, I can actually put a official gasket on it. One thing I never did was give a shout out to my boy, Nick Channels. Uh, he's the one that runs West Michigan Motorsports YouTube channel. He's right now up at Tip Up Town with the AT Ski. That's him right now. That's what he looks like. Ski set up on a 87 Big Red. Do me a favor. Right now, go to West Michigan Motorsports on YouTube. And uh, like and subscribe. He he and the boys have a, a bunch of great content. Very funny. And he's a he's a good source of information also. But he sent me he sent me this. The most dangerous Hondas ever made before they were banned for forever. <laughs> Not really. Uh what else? There's something over here. I want to show you this. I haven't put it up yet. <coughs> this is a set of banners 
that I bought from uh, Brad Geckner. And I'm going to put those along my ATC 70 shelf. So that's something that's yet to be put up. I've got to hit a res the reset button to clean up my shop. Now that the 84-200E is, is done, well, with the exception of the battery hold down, uh, I can get that out of here. I can get the 83 out of here and hopefully on to a new home. But I've got to clear out my shop because I'm going to make a pool, not a pool table, oh my gosh, a dining room table. Because my wife has requested one. Somebody was interested in this 90, but they've told me they bought a big red instead, so I'll put this back in the other room. Once the dining room table is done, we're going to get on to the 85 250R that I've owned since 97. you got to split the cases on the motor, which are over here. I've got all the bearings and gaskets and seals to, to put it back together. I'm going to re I'm going to powder the motor cases. I don't know if I want to do black because obviously I've got a, a not OEM color here. I'm not trying to mimic an 87. I'm just trying to take what I did in 1997 and make it nicer. So I don't know if I want black or a, you know, if I want to go 86 color. I don't want it too atrocious. I've deleted the gold or I will be deleting the rest of the gold on this. And that's uh, this is due to be finished. This is the machine I started my my channel on that I was going to restore, and it's not done yet. It's watched me restore and and work on many many machines. This being one, but it's not finished. So dining room table, two fifty R. What are some other things? This room is not heated, so it's a little bit chilly out here. You'll see uh, some sagging tires on a couple of these. I've got to go around with the, the air tank and dose them up a little bit. My Ryder 350X is looking lonely. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the, the new 2014 TRX 450 ER into my shop and compare it to my TPC, which I need to do a valve job on, valve adjustment, put new shims in. I've been watching how to do that. So I'm going to learn myself and show you what happens when I try to do it. And you can learn from my mistakes. The 88 TRX 250X needs to come in the shop and and get the carb cleaned. I've got a lead on some takeoff 88 rear fenders. And me and the guy are chatting a little bit here and there. So hopefully I can acquire those. The, uh, the 93 300EX has gas in the oil. So that carburetor needs to be cleaned. And I need to swap out the oil. And then that can be a runner, and it needs a battery. 87 200X, at some point, I've got a painted tank that I want to put on that, and new decals, and that will dress that up a lot, and it deserves that. And I have an, actually an 87 200X to build, so maybe I'll get to that at some point. My buddy Donnie Bysall has been begging me to pull the motor on this 85 350X because it needs to be opened up to see why it is stuck. I don't usually admit that to everybody that it has a stuck motor, but it was restored with a stuck motor because the guy paying to have it restored didn't want to uh, wait. It was for display only. I'm going to pull in my 84 200M and my 85 200M and do some things. As you recall, my buddy MRC Builds for my birthday sent me a chrome front rack and a chrome headlight guard for this machine. So I've got to put that on. And uh, I'm going to bring the 85 in as well and 
it needs some brake shoes and and it's going to need a new fender because I've stolen the other one. And we're going to put a black rack on that. It doesn't have a rack on the back now. And I think these machines just look so silly with no rack on the back. 87125M has a little block on it because the front tire leaks down. So maybe we'll open that up and see if there's a good reason. Or maybe we just got to put a tube in it. I need to weld some stands for my 90s so they're not sitting on the ground like they are. I'm ashamed of myself to show you that, but they, in, for, mo for the most part, are sitting on the ground. This uh, 82 250R is incomplete. I've never heard it run. That'll be a project for another day. I don't have any plans to get it in anytime soon, but I need to to do some work on that. I think that's it for here. This needs this needs the carb rebuilt on it. I did that a long time ago and I might have not done it perfectly. So I think that would benefit from a carb clean. These kick and goes don't need anything. Need to be hung on the wall. That's it for that room. Let me take you into the other room. I don't know if you can hear the sleet falling on the roof, but we're getting some precipitation. We stole the front tire and rim off this to put on Peter, so I don't know what that makes this person. But we noticed there was no brake shoes left, so ordered some brakes for that. We'll figure out a tire and rim to go on the front of that so it can be back on three wheels again. I mentioned how I stole the fender. So when I get the new old stock one in for the 84 200E, we'll move things over to put that fender on this. And this needs some love. This was leaking some gas last time I, I pulled it out. It had uh, dripped during the 85... ATC lineup video, you'll see it's the 84 and beyond style fender, so it doesn't have that straight leading edge. And this one doesn't need it at all because it has no sub transmission. That's one of the differences between the 200E and the 200M is there's just, it's just a five speed. This is being an 85, it is upshift. 84 would be downshift. This fender, how does that happen? How does how do those marks get on that fender? This thing needs some love. Maybe we can give it some love. What else we got? I gotta pull this into my shop and uh, this and my son's recon. They're both running a little funny. This one won't, won't even start right now because if you remember the, the mud flats video, it was kind of giving us some trouble. So it needs a carb. A carb service. At some point I'm going to pull all four of my blue 110s into my shop and make the nicest 84 and the nicest 83 and then let the uh, the less nice 83 and 84 go on to a new home. My uh, 81 185S Needs to have the rear rack installed, which is up there hanging on the wall. A couple other racks up there, stump guards. Got a fair amount of inventory of things up here in the rafters. I've got a powder coated 350X frame, I've got a powder coated 87200X frame, and I've got another 86 350X frame that. Is somewhere up there. That's a big red frame. Projects for days. You remember the, the 81110 that we cleaned up? These tires are holding air nicely. They're tubes, so I would expect them to. Got a set of mud flaps that can go on the back of this. I don't know how horrendous that's going to look, but I've got them, so I might as well do that. And then, of course, 
this 86, this 86, and my 88 need to make their way into my shop so the 88 can be cleaned up and uh, look less atrocious. I think for Trike Fest this year, I'm going to bring the 88 Big Red, the 85 uh, 200 ES, which is over here. Oh, that was just a drip. Right here, right on camera. Is that condensation? It can't be. Anyway, it was again. How could you? So the 85 200 ES, the 88 250 ES, and the 84 200 E, I think, need to come to Trike Fest, have, have the most foreign three-wheelers all in one spot. I guess all of these are foreign three-wheelers, aren't they? Palin's coming with me, so i got to bring something for her. Of course, I've got to bring a 350X. My buddy Derek will be with me, so whatever he's bringing, I think we'll have room. But that's some of the projects that you'll see coming up here as time allows. And I gotta finish up my bonus shop, is, which is where I just walked through. So just those things, those few videos, those few projects, I don't lack for content to make. Um, I know I know sometimes I ask you guys for suggestions and and sometimes it, it's just depends on what the weather's like outside. It's harder to move things out and and uh, shuffle the deck, if you will, when it's cold. Uh, but yeah, I think this year we're going to we're going to really get our stride and uh, show some cool stuff. I got to finish up the 84 lineup. Um, video now that we've got the 84200D once the weather warms up we can jump back into showing all the machines that were made a particular year we can do the 110 comparisons that's the only one that I don't believe I, I finished uh, so I, once we get past that that'll be all models of three wheelers we did comparisons on so you know what's different year to year On top of the, the machines I showed you, I do want to I want to build that 87 200X. I want to build that 85 to uh, 350X. I want to finish up my 85 250R, the white one behind me. My phone died. Anyway, I was just saying the 85 250R is is it, but it's not because I've got Bennett's uh, 70 we've got to build so. We do not lack for projects around here, but thank you so much. All of you guys, uh, guys that have sent me things. Um, I know I'm missing a few. Uh, I know Magnus over here sent me this ATC 70 clock. I think I mentioned that in my year end wrap up. Lots of stuff. Whoa. Hey, what's up? I'm over here. There we go. But. Thank you very much for, for watching, liking, subscribing, clicking the bell, all the things. And uh, if there's things you want to see in, in future videos, let me know. I can I can usually squeak things in or multitask, cover, cover more projects at once. But that's it for me. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you next time. And I almost forgot. So if you want to order Honda Hoarder apparel, uh, hats, hoodies, t-shirts, and we're going to have some tumblers coming out. That's a banner that we, we sold back in the day. If you want any of this stuff, um, go to Honda Hoarders on Facebook. You have to join the group, answer all the questions, or my buddy's not going to let you in. But once you're in, uh, pinned to the top is a post where we're uh, the order is open. We're going to be ordering through the week of uh, mid-February. Once I collect all the orders, we will submit them to be made, and then we'll get shipped things shipped out so that's how we've been doing it you know eventually we'll get to a place where you can just click a link and order some stuff but uh we had some bad stuff happen in the past with that but that's it again thanks for watching and uh 
Sí, sí, sí.